right? PDY. Well, one thing I wanted to do too is put a little bit of uh, weight in the nose. Because you know, all that stuff I did I made the CG a little bit aft again. Okay. That was on purpose. <laughs> but now I need to change my shorts. By the way, Ray. Uh huh. That other rudder situation was before I got the uh, before you gave me the wiper. That's why the plane oh. went in. Yeah, it feels better, more solid.
but it doesn't hurt it at all. Flying on. How's it getting that light right? And the taxing, the high speed taxing, you just keep the wings level with the aileron and then use the rudder. And it's almost at flying speed. Matter of fact, I'm coming up on the throttle more and more. Maybe the battery's getting lower. Oh, There, I kind of spun it out. I'm not an idiot. I got it. Oh, you got it. That's good. And here's uh, Mike helping getting a tool. I found that I could actually get out here over the reeds. Now, uh, the airplane went in the water and hit because it hit the reeds here. And uh, that was the violation of what I call the blue sky rule. Always keep everything, you know, don't cross anything until you know you're over the runway. Uh, but the other side of it is you don't really fail if you don't break anything and so our airplane is right in there And we'll see if we can get it flying again without any real big repair and if so Then we got to crash without failing because we get to go flying again and I just used uh, John's stick and or Mike's stick and John just Drove it up on the beach and it doesn't look like it's damaged. So, so Ray. Great Sometimes it's great to crash. Remind yourself how sure if you're with this rule, mortal you are. As there's a blue sky rule, there's a brown tule rule. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Called, uh, the Don't the cross plane. the tules. Oh look, there is some damage. There is a few little. Oh no, they just came disconnected. So put those back on and go fly. So Mike getting the little push or the little uh, struts put back on. We'll go out and fly it again. So there's the infamous Thule's. And I was able to get out over them without even getting my feet wet. So, you know, the old axiom is it's better to be lucky than good. Oh, Because, you know, a crash like that, you might not be able to come back and fly right away. But just those two little struts were...
With wheels, I always say you get one bounce, as long as the next one hits the ground nicely. Here on the water, it's pretty much the same. You know, you can bounce once, as long as you then put it on nicely. That's another way of saying I screwed that one up and bounced it all and all, but see, there's... Pretty much what I wanted to do. There's a seagull coming around again. You know, it's amazing the battery life on this thing, because I've only been, I've been doing all this on this one battery. Here's the seagull following me again. Let's see if it'll follow me right around into the water. Look at that glassy water. So there's my one, there's the other one. <laughs> when he goes off the step, it really slows down there. Past the infinite reef. Okay, now, without hitting the reeds, this is what I wanted to do before. Come in nicely next to them. So now all of this on that one battery, so I think I'll come in and beach the plane. As long as I